Lights out. Hello. Have you ever considered time and space? How indefinite each is? For example, what is a minute or a month or a million miles? Just terms that men have manufactured. Is there actually much difference between a split second and 10,000 years, I wonder. Lights out. Lord, you've got enough grease on you to swim the channel. He is a sight, isn't he? An understatement, Jeffrey. He's a sensation. <laughs> we might have known we'd get a flat here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, don't worry. Claude's very clever with machines, aren't you, dear? You should try working with your hands, Jeffrey. I'm sorry I'm such a dud at machinery. Don't be stuffy, Jeffrey. Hmm? If he thought you ought to help him, he'd shout at the top of his voice. <laughs> Oh, here. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'm afraid Jeffrey will never appreciate my virtues. He likes men who sit around tables and talk. I don't like sitting. I like action. Diplomacy, my dear friend, is the civilized way of getting things done. Civilized? Why not be honest about it? You and I hate each other. Why? Because we both want the same woman. We should fight about it, not quibbles. <laughs> Look, my two heroes. I'll neither be fought for nor negotiated over. That should disqualify both of you. Now, come on, let's get going. The time's fixed. Clever Claude, isn't he, Jeffrey? <laughs> mm-hmm. We'll be hours late as it is for the party. Oh. We missed the turn for Dordogne back here. And I always oh. thought these roads in France were so clearly marked. They are. You were driving. I was sleeping. Hmm. Now, we got to go back here. Le Moustier. An interesting country. They found the anthropoid skeletons here. Cavemen. In these hills? On this very road. Oh, that's impossible, Jeffrey. They wouldn't be on the surface. We're not on the surface, Cave. This road you cuts through the hill. They don't see us well. The archaeologists followed the road crews. And in rocky banks like these, the giant bulldozers turned over. No. What is it? Claude? It's incredible. Jeffrey, he's only trying to frighten us. Now, Claude, if there's going to be any nonsense about finding a lot of old bones around... <laughs> what is this? Oh. Claude? Did you arrange this? No, I saw it on the surface when I put away the tools. The car must have uncovered when it skidded off the road. Claude, is that... A skull. A human skull. Oh, ghastly. Well, we'd have to report it to the police, I expect. It's probably a local murder. I think this is far too old to interest the police. What do you really mean? You're not asking us to believe that that was a Neanderthal man. Possibly. Oh, it's horrid. It's ugly. You think so? Imagine how it was in life. Thank you. I'd rather not. Her brain capacity was small, very small. The Neanderthaloid man had a very different mentality from ours. 
The back parts of the brain which control the sight and touch and strength were well developed. But the front parts... Yes, yes, that's all very connected. well, Claude, but we'll never get to Dodoni at this rate. Kay, would you mind asking your erudite friend to interrupt his soliloquy with Yorick and let's get started. Come on, Claude. I'll be right with you. Aren't you going to take it with us? It must be very valuable. It's priceless. But the paleontologist must know exactly where it was found. This rag will mark the place. Now. Shall we go? Well, I trust you'll be able to find the right turn this time, Claude. Don't worry, I'm driving. Oh, I do wish you two would stop quarreling. That's up to you. Choose between us. Mm. I like you both. That is, I dislike you both equally. <laughs> That's nonsense. No, it's emotion. Something you wouldn't know about in the State Department. Listen, Claude, I've stood for about enough of your ribbing. Don't you suppose I know you're just trying to play up the case? Don't push me too far, my friend. This great pose of virility. <laughs> I've heard it often covers the exact opposite. Gentlemen, that's enough for today. I'm warning you, Jeffrey. I've got a very short temper. The mark of an infant. Why, you striped pants, cookie pusher. Claude, the road. If they weren't here. If they weren't here, you, you no, find some other... thrown clear of the cars up there. Here, help me. Oh! Well, that down. It's broken, I guess. He wasn't thrown clear of the car. He wasn't in it, I looked. The brush is so thick here. We might as well start looking here. Claude? Claude? Hey! Jeffrey! There he is. Over there. Come on, hurry. Are you hurt? My knee's twisted. Oh, Claude. Let me see. Oh. Oh, I should try to get the dirt out. I don't want to hurt you, but I'm afraid that you're going to hurt. I'm sorry I can't help, old man, but this left arm of mine is... Still, we're lucky. The trees must have broken the fall. Look at the height of that cliff. Yes. You can't see the road at all. Listen to that wind. Freezing. It's the middle of July. Jeffrey. Here. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Cohen. What is this? If car goes over the cliff, we're not killed. It's the middle of summer. And now, suddenly it's like winter. There must be some logical explanation. I know this country. There are never such cold winds in July. Oh, oh Claude. I'm all right. Oh, we've got to find help somehow. All I want now is some water. I'll look for some. Be careful. Be careful. 
Sit here quietly. Quietly. I can't sit quietly. A stick. Get me a stick. Then I can get up. Listen. What are you driving at? Who was that? You saw him? That face like a nightmare? No, no, it's just some mental case wandering through the forest. That's all. Kay! We've got to find him. Yeah. Kay! Hey! Where are you? Kay! 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 You should have waited here. It would be just as dangerous. What are you talking about? There should be saber-toothed tigers. Another ant. Don't be absurd. Well, you saw him, that that man. Well, what about it? Well, I believe, I believe what I see. I saw a reproduction once in the British Museum. You're not serious. Look. Now look around you. Do you see what's happened? Look around you. The Mysterian Era. You're not seriously considering... No. I believe what I see. It's not... Hallucination. My nerves are all shot. That's what it is? Natural enough to make a mistake. Then why is it so cold? Is that a mistake? It's cold because time has moved back to the third interglacial age. There. Look, look. Uh, Campfire. It wasn't there before. Uh, a cave. I don't remember seeing that. Cave. There's somebody down there. Let, let, let's let's go down. We'll, we'll get away where it is to help us. <laughs> Come on, hurry. Hurry. It's the fellow we saw, all right? Keep your voice down, he might hear us. But what kind of a man is that? Time and time, I told you. The Neanderthal man. They died 50,000 years ago. You said so yourself. And the dead don't come back to life. We've gone into his life. He hasn't come into ours. What about Kay? Shh, keep your voice. But Kay, me. She isn't there. Look. And she's lost. Keep your voice down, I warn you. His senses must be as keen as an animal. Uh, I wish I had a gun. Oh, come on. We'll go down there and 
Talk to it. Talk. He may be a lunatic, but he may know where Kay is. Get down, you fool. I'm going to talk to him. You down there. Look. We want to talk to you. Hot, hot. Oh, what did you do? I'll settle this. I'm going to climb down there. It's the ugliest creature I ever saw in my life. All right. I'm going down there. You wait here. I'm going to climb down. You in there? We're friends. Friends. Look friendly, Claude. Smile. Ooh, we need a machine gun, not a smile. He's coming close. He knows we don't mean any harm. He sees we're harmless against the strength in those arms. Hey, listen to me. We're friends. You understand? Friends. Here. Money. Money. We bring you money. <laughs> ah, Jeffrey, look out! Ah, let go! Let me go! Let me go, I tell you. We're friends. Don't you understand? Let me go. Let me... before what pain the human mind can endure. <laughs> Why did he do this to us? A man with... Why? A man with both legs broken can't get very far. What's simpler than tying us up? Killing would be one thing. But this... Once I saw a gypsy break the wings of a wild goose. <laughs> Food in a cold, bitter world is hard to get. <laughs> it's not particular. Meat is meat. <clears throat> No matches. I wonder where Kay is. I've been thinking about her. When I can think. No way. I can't see him. Perhaps, perhaps I can twist around. I never thought the time would come when I couldn't reason a thing out. Bones broken. Thrown down like a side of beef. The weight. For what? Listen, someone's huh? coming from the cave. <laughs> Kay! Catherine, is that you? No! Jeff! Are you all right? Both of you all right? Yes, yes. What happened to you? That sort of a beef. He was hardly a man. He found me and brought me here. Say, man. I found a way out in the back. Come, can we climb quickly? Climb quickly. Come on, hurry. We're hardly at liberty to climb anywhere, my dear. Why not? A matter of broken bones. What happened to us? Is he really a Neanderthal? Yes. But those men died centuries ago. Something about the car back up in the cliff. Some other dimension in time. I don't know. <laughs> the pain. The pain's real. <laughs> We've, uh, we've got to do something, do you hear me? I won't die like this. I can't die like this. Do something! Do something! Jeffrey! I'm sorry. I never could have you a pain. Try not to think of it, Jeffrey. All my life I knew just what to say. And now... Jeffrey, don't. Now let me talk. Well, I can't. Still a man, and I won't be when he gets in here. If I had a gun. It could all be settled so neatly at a conference table, couldn't it? I never met brute force before in all my life. He's coming closer. If I had a gun. But you can't reason with unreason, can you? When you're facing brute force, all the words and ethics and logic and good faith don't mean anything. If I had a gun. You've got to face force with force. And a gun is force. And I've got a gun. I went with my job. I hated it. I never expected Where? to use it. Where? Tell it in! Where? It's in the inside pocket of that jacket. I can't breathe. Then I'll stop him. I'll do it.
We go on living. I killed him. And yet it's 50,000 years before we were born. It isn't real. It can't be. God, it can't be real. It hasn't happened, has it? Perhaps not. You know where we are now in time? Back up there on the cliff where the car skidded off the road. Where I found that Neanderthal skull. 50,000 years from now. I thought it was odd then. That skull had a hole in it. A little, round, smooth hole. A bullet hole. Impossible, you say? Don't be too sure. There are stranger things in heaven and earth than are dreamt of in our feeble philosophies. 